No stir in the air, no stir in the sea. The ship was as still as she could be. Her sails from heaven received no motion, her keel was steady in the ocean. Without either sign or sound of their shock, the waves flowed over the Inchcape Rock. So little they rose, so little they fell, they did not move the Inchcape Bell. The abbot of Atherbrock had placed that bell on the Inchcape Rock. On a buoy in the storm it floated and swung, and over the waves its warning rung. When the rock was hid by the surge's swell, the mariners heard the warning bell, and then they knew the perilous rock, and blessed the abbot of Abathrock. The sun in heaven was shining gay, all things were joyful on that day. The seabirds screamed as they wheeled around, and there was joyance in that sound. The boy of Inchcape Rock was seen, a darker speck on ocean green. Sir Ralph the Rover walked his deck, and he'd fixed his eyes on the darker speck. He felt the cheering power of spring. It made him whistle, it made him sing. His heart was mirthful to excess, but the rover's mirth was wickedness. His eye was on the inch cape float. Quoth he, My men, put out the boat, and now row me to the inch cape rock, and I'll plague the abbot of Abbath Rock. The boat is lowered, the bet boatmen row, and to the inch cape rock they go. Sir Ralph bent over from the boat, and he cut the bell from the Inchcape float. Down sunk the bell, with a gurgling sound, the bubbles rose and burst around. Quoth Sir Ralph, the next who comes to the rock, won't bless the abbot of Abbot Rock. Sir Ralph the rover sailed away. He scoured the seas for many a day, and now grown rich with plunder's store, he steers his course for Scotland's shore. So thick a haze overspreads the sky, they cannot see the sun on high. The wind hath blown a gale all day, at evening it hath died away. On the deck the rover takes his stand. So dark it is they see no land, quoth Sir Ralph. It will be lighter soon, for there is the dawn of the rising moon. Can't steer, said one, the breakers roar. Methinks we should be near the shore. But where we are I cannot tell, I wish I could hear the Inchcape bell. They hear no sound, the swell is strong, though the wind hath fallen, they drift along. Till the vessel strikes with shivering shock, oh Christ, it's the Inchcape rock. Sir Ralph the Rover tore his hair, he cursed himself, and in his despair, the waves rush in, and on every side the ship is sinking beneath the tide. But even in his dying fear, one dreadful sound could the rover hear, a sound as if with Inchcape Bell. The devil below was ringing his knell.